Welcome to the 2011 Amelia Island Concours d'Elegance. I'm Mike Kunz of the Mercedes-Benz Classic Center, and I'm here with Nate Lander of the Classic Center. We've brought two cars to show you today, the 1961 190SL and the all-new 2012 SLK 350. You know, Concours is all about heritage, and Mercedes-Benz is all about heritage. But it's also about lineage, and that's why we're going to show you the SLK up close. Look at this 190SL. This is a car that was restored at the Mercedes Classic Center. It really is representative of, of 1950s Mercedes-Benz styling, the chrome, the finishes. If you will, it's kind of like the younger brother to the 300SL, a car to be enjoyed on the open road. I love the styling of this car. It's very sports car typical. Look at the tail of the car, how it kind of falls to the road. Typical sports car look. This was a car for touring, so it was very much about the interior as well. A beautiful dash to look at, comfortable seats, a car to be enjoyed on the road. In the 1950s, the 190SL launched the small Roadster segment for Mercedes-Benz. Now let's take a look at our latest interpretation of this car. Thanks, Mike. Here we have the all-new 2012 SLK 350. It's been reworked from top to bottom, and it's a completely new car for this year. We see a lot of design elements in this car that are carried over from the 190SL going back to that heritage look. We see this ornamental grille here, the two horizontal bars on the side flanking the three-pointed star. This is very traditional for Mercedes-Benz SLs, and you see it on the 300 SL Gullwing, the 300 SL Roadster, even the new SLS AMG. Uh, that continues over into the headlights. We see a little bit of chrome used around the headlight area, and this is really an homage to the 190 SL from the 1950s. Comfort and sportiness was definitely a selling point in the 190 SL when it debuted and that continues on in the SLK. The interior is much the same. We see very comfortable seats, a lot of leather, a lot of chrome, a lot of accents in it, which really ties the car back to its uh, origins. You also see a lot of uh, new innovations in here such as navigation, satellite radio, heated seats, air scarf, all the things that I'm sure customers back in the 1950s would have loved to have on their SLs. So these three letters on the back of the car, SLK, you're probably familiar with the S and the L, sports light, we see that in the 190SL, but the K is a little different. It stands for Kurz, or short in German, and that really designates this car a little bit different than the standard SL that you might be familiar with. The 350 on the back represents 3.5 liters, which is what this car has, and 306 horsepower, which when you think about it, is three times more horsepower than the 190SL. You know, Mike, when you see these two cars up close, you really start to appreciate the lineage of Mercedes-Benz and just where these cars came from. And we're really excited to show the 2012 SLK and the car that inspired it, the 190SL.